what is Crizzlack and everybody today is Thursday, December 17th, 2020. Yes, it's getting that much closer. One week from tomorrow, we got the big feast coming up. So you're working out hard, so you can eat that turkey, chicken, ham, whatever it is you're gonna eat, guilt-free, treats, sweets, whatever it is, you'll be guilt-free because you're gonna probably come back Saturday and then, and then Monday, Tuesday, and get right back into it. So you're gonna shred that shit right off. So anyway, it's a little chilly out here today. It's border, this is like the line of shirt, no shirt. And I decided to go no shirt, even though it's cloudy. If it was sunny, no problem, but it's a little cloudy, rained a little bit. It's a little chilly. It's probably in the 60s lower, but beats being in the snow, right? I got no snow here. Anyway, another Tabata workout, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. 12 exercises, one round, three rounds, six minutes around, 18 minutes of work. You can get it done. What do we got here today? We got a bench out here because we're going to do some Bulgarian split squats. Never did those yet, but we're going to do them. My knees are bad. Well, my one knee is, so I'm going to do them the best I can, but you can do them your own way as well. Um, I got a band out here, heavy band out here. And we're going to do some kickbacks with it, like pushbacks. So it's going to be... It's gonna be a lot of leg action today. Leg, glute, it's gonna get your bot, your butt in shape. Uh, we got the ab wheel for abs. We got some dumbbells for the Bulgarian. That's about it. Other, other than that, we got his body weight stuff. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. I said, let's get to it. Here we go. We're gonna start it off with high knees. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, I remember high knees, do it two different ways. One is just pop them up as fast as you can. The other one is up, bring them up even higher and crunch. So if you want some cardio to get started, a little warm up and do it this way, you can get them going. On your tippy toes, nice. Next you got barbell straight leg deadlift. This is a little lighter weight, 95. So we're gonna pick it up. Straight leg deadlift. So, up. And we're gonna barely bend. We're pretty much going straight down, up. So not like a regular deadlift. Legs are closer together. Up. So you're bending, hinging over. There you go. One more. Now we got barbell back squat. So you gotta get this up over your head. Up and over, like that, and we got some squats, come on, squat it out, ah, 95 pounds, you can do it, too bad I'm not in the gym, because I could just put it on the rack, but I can't, up, down, there you go, and of course you get the ab wheels at the end of that. At the end of every set of four, we got some apples. One, there you go. Not a lot of room out here. Yeah. Remember, you're hinging forward all the way up. Your, your abs are pulling you back in. Strengthen the core to get a better back. If you got back pain, you got back pain or anything like that, take the band around the back. Whoop. We're going to do some squat punches. So we're going to squat, punch, punch, 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 squat, punch, punch. Nice. Like that. Fan leg pushes. This is the one I was telling you about. You gotta get your feet in here. It's not an easy task, but you got it in. We're gonna put this around our hand right here. And we're gonna kick back, kick it back. Up and back, up and back. Ah, I need to give you the size of it. Up and back, up and back. Get that extension. Oh yeah. Trust me, it's gonna kill your, your glutes. Get it on the other foot. You can, quickly. On the other hand, 
I'll try to turn a little bit for you. So remember, you're kicking back. Kick, up, back, up, up, up. Extend that band, come on. Get that resistance going on the knee. Oh, my knee hurts from Okay, that was ugly, but we'll take it. Back to ab wheel. Last set of four there. Get the ab wheel on. Okay, remember you're hinging, pulling in with your abs all the way out, pull it in. Again, I mention this because strong core, strong back. Plus you can lift heavy shit when you have a strong back and a strong core. All the way out. There you go. Knee to elbow slams. Anyway, yeah, you gotta get your back in shape. A lot of people say they have back pain. Strengthen the core. See if it helps. Just do a bunch of core Even this is a core kind of exercise. You're slamming and you're pushing your um, obliques, keeping them tight like that. Nice. Next. Okay, we got the Bulgarian split squats. So we take a dumbbell and we take one foot up on the bench like that and one foot is gonna be doing the squat. So as far down as you can, up, down, up, down, up. Woo. Keep straight. That's part of it too, keep the core tight so you don't go flying. Ah, that is gonna be brutal on the hammies. Next leg. Switch sides, show the foot up. This is my bad knee, but we're gonna try. We're still gonna try. I'm still getting a, I'm still getting a workout, trust me. Even though I'm not going as low as I, you know, you're supposed to, it's still working the glute and the hammies. Ah, that's perfect. And it's fine. Last but not least, back to Ab wheel. Everybody loves it. Everybody hates it. But it's necessary. It's a necessary evil. If you don't have an ab wheel, you can use a barbell. That barbell right there, you can put, roll it out too. You can use, I don't know, find something. There you go. That's all she wrote for round one. Woo! That was kind of good. I didn't think I'd be as winded as I was, but it's a lot of work. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Get to it. Shred and grind. Tabata style. Thursday. Tomorrow. Arm day. Tomorrow we get the arms jacked up. We're going to do shoulders, arms, chest. It's going to be awesome. So, you know, the grinding wheel. Peace. Out.